who are able to stand, please stand for the reading of God's word and remain standing after prayer, please. That's Mark 11, starting with the 20th verse. You can see here. Mm -hmm. Mark 11, verse 20 reads as, And in the morning as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots, and Peter calling it, to remember and saith unto the master, Behold, the fig tree which thou cursest is withered away. And Jesus answered, saith unto them, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto the mountain, Be thy removed, and be thy cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. Amen. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire when ye pray, yeah. believe that ye receive them and ye shall have them. Right. And when ye stand praying, forgive, if ye have aught against any that your Father also which is in heaven may forgive you of your trespasses. Yeah. But if ye do not forgive, Neither will your Father, which in heaven, forgive you, forgiving you, your trust, forgiving your trespasses. I have read Mark 11, verses 20 to 26. May the Lord have a rich reading and blessing his most precious and holy word. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Bowed head, closed eyes, open heart. Heavenly Father, thanking you for today. Thank you for each and every day that you give us, my Father. If we can be just be thankful for just being being alive that's a blessing there think of the five five things that you be blessed with that you want to thank god for thanking him for waking you up thanking you for the healing that he gives you thanking for dying for you your sins on the cross we ought to be mindful of all the things that he has done for us and your family and uh, and just remembering that he is the one that we that need that need he is the one that we need to be praying to. Not man, not anything down here on earth, because he's he owns everything. Cattle of a hundred hills, thousand hills. But God is God and God Almighty. He's the healer. He, he does all what we think we can do, but we can't. We can't do anything without the Lord. And Father, help those the sick, the shut in, those who are in bereavement. It's so much trouble down here on this earth. We need to stay on our knees. It's like when we get on the, go, we ought to be on our knees. And when we get down on our knees, it's like having your shoes pushed all the way back to the, 
your bed. Well, you can't do nothing but get on your knees and stay down on your knees. Stay in prayer with the Lord. That's how you learn by prayer. It's not how elegant I pray. It's how sincere I pray. I don't worry about what somebody's going to say to me and all. But long as I got King Jesus, I don't need nobody else. I continue my prayer. I continue my being a servant to the Lord. Whether I'm standing on the door as an usher, where I'm doing my deacon work, it doesn't matter. The Lord sees it all. He sits high, he looks low, and he sees everything that you do. Don't think you are hiding from the Lord. And I just want to tell him thank you for everything. I'm not asking for anything, but I'm thankful for everything. And I'm thanking for thankful for this congregation that we have here at Peaceful Rest Baptist Church. I'm thankful for my pastor and the first lady. I'm thankful for all who love the Lord. I ask all the blessings here and now in a mighty blessed name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Now I will turn it over to our wonderful mass choir who's led by Alan, Alex because he heard it here first.
that favor. He keeps on blessing me. And I've got favor. In the morning, keeps on blessing me. And I know I've got favor. And new day, he keeps on blessing me. And I've got favor. Many of you know you got favor this morning. You don't sound like folks with divine favor. How many of you know you got favor this morning? Every time I turn around, he just keeps on blessing me. That's the kind of God I serve. Keeps on blessing me. Me. He keeps, keeps, keeps on blessing me. Day, keeps on Won't he do it? Way. Won't he just keep on blessing you? He's blessing me. 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 Amen. Give the Lord a hand to pray. And give this PRBC Mass Choir a hand. Awesome job they're doing this morning, leading us in worship and in praise. What does the Lord require thee but to do justly, love mercy, and to walk humbly with our God? I'm going to ask any first-time visitors in the house, any first-time visitors in the house, if you don't mind standing and telling us how you happened by here this morning. Amen. She's small enough. I saw her, though. She was standing up. We're going to let her talk. We have any first-time visitors online, either, uh, go ahead and type your name down there in the comments section, and one of our PRBC members will be glad to give you a PRBC welcome. So I guess there's no other first-time visitors in the house this morning. Did she have something she wanted to say? Oh, okay. 
I was going to ask my wife, where'd you get the new lap baby from? I <laughs> Amen. Uh, okay, that's my niece, huh? Okay, hey niece. <laughs> Amen. 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 I want to thank everybody who took part in uh, the purchase and the sale of the uh, PRBC gear. And now that we have all the orders in, by next Sunday, I'm hoping to be able to tell you uh, when we're going to have uh, those things, those items that we ordered delivered. We're planning on having um, uh, uh, another neighborhood cookout where we're going to invite our neighborhood over to meet the church. Uh, and that's going to be, I was trying to think, Edward, it was the... Uh, week of May. Huh? Second Saturday of May. Thank you, Israel. Yeah, he found his dolly, by the way. Amen. Hey, man, he left it somewhere. Amen. <laughs> uh, hey, but the second week of May, I didn't mean to tell on you, brother. You was helping me out, too. Uh, yeah, second weekend in May, uh, we're going to have the uh, uh, community cookout. Going to go out and canvas the neighborhood and invite our neighbors to come down. And, and see what PRBC is all about. Amen. Amen. It, it's a shame. Uh, the last time, last year about this time when they went up and canvassed our neighborhood, there was a lady up the street that said she didn't even know she was welcome at this church. And it just made me know uh, how much we failed at our task of harvesting this community. Amen. Amen. So I'm asking y'all to come out and join me in those events. I didn't have much to talk about. I want to get us out of here early today, but this is the first Sunday of the month, and that makes this birthday Sunday. Oh, okay. He wasn't in my notes. I forgot to text you. Okay. Hey, back them up, Mo. We... we we got somebody else want to jump in here in front of me. So sorry. I am standing on behalf of Friends and Family Day of, for April. Oh. Yay, April. Woo. Yes. Amen. Um, so for this uh, month, my words, um, for this month, we will be doing um, black social organizations. So things such as your fraternities and sororities. Um, the Elks, the Masons, things of that nature, invite them. And yes, wear your gear. So I expect the pinks and the, the, the blues and the, the reds, if you will. Um, the, yes, all of the fun stuff. So invite, invite, invite. Thank you. I'm so sorry, Pastor Bye. Amen. So what, what sorority is the blue? Okay, I figured that's, oh, somebody else knew. She's mouthing it right up here with you. Amen. Okay. Yeah. The only one I knew was uh, the Q dogs, but amen. I, I, yeah. Uh, they were plentiful when I came along. Uh, all right, Mo. Now, this is the first Sunday of the month. That makes it, I almost forgot what I was doing. That makes this birthday Sunday. Come on, Mo. Let's see the birthdays for the month of April. Amen. First one. Sister Mary Johnson over here on the first, and Brother Alex Burst on the third. Sister Reverend Sharon Shields, they need to get a picture of you, Reverend, on the fourth, and Antoinette Bryant on the fourth. Yajane Cheney Hunter on the seventh. I don't see her here today, and then Sonia Shanae Rice. Hers is tomorrow on the 8th. And Sister Lynn Brain, president of the choir. Hers is on the 13th. Lanita Reese. Hers is on the 16th. And then we have Deshaun Moore back there. His is on the 17th. He done got tall, too. Reverend Bessie Epperson. Hers is on the 21st. And... Sister Margie Wright, hers is on the 24th. And then Sister Shawnee Williams, 
Hers is on the 26th. Happy birthday, all of the April birthdays. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. To you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday, amen, happy birthday, all of the April birthdays, we so happy for you. And lastly, we won't be taking up an offering during this service, but we do have a basket in the back by the office door. Feel free at any time during the service to get up and put your offering in the basket. If you have your offering ready at this time, go ahead on and hold it up. And our singular usher, our singular usher will be glad to come around and pick it up. Amen. And take that back to you. Should we be out for a quick word of prayer? Father, we thank you for these gifts. To Thank you for these givers. Thanks for those that had and had it not to give. May it all be used to uplift and edify your kingdom in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Lord, been good to you. I have to admit, I was just glad when they sit under me this morning. Let us go into the house of the Lord. It was just time to go worship Jesus. And I was so glad about it. Amen. Amen. I'm going to get out of your way. I'm going to turn you over to the PRBC Mass Choir. And since Deacon Brain done stole my line, I'm going to have to come up with a new one. But I heard you, Deacon Brain. I wanted you to. You wanted me to? Amen. Thief, thief, thief. I was first. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get out of your way. Let's bring back the praise team. I mean, the uh, mass choir.
songwriter said, oh, how sweet to walk in this pilgrim way, leaning on Jesus, leaning on his everlasting arms. Amen. If you don't mind standing and turning with me to the second chapter of the book of John, John, the second chapter, we're going to look at verses 5, 9, and 10 in your hearing this morning. John chapter 2, verses 5, 9, and 10. Amen. And since we have them up on the screen, somebody's wireless mic is show making a fit to. Since we have them on the screen, if you don't mind reading these three verses with me. His mother saith unto the servants, Whatsoever he saith unto you, do it. do it. Now hold on right there. I want us to look at this verse one more time. And this time, let's give emphasis on the second part of the verse. His mother said to the servants, Whatsoever he said unto you, do it. When the ruler of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine and knew not whence it was, but the servants which drew the water knew. The governor of the feast called the bridegroom and said unto him, Every man at the beginning does set forth good wine. And when men have well drunk, then that which is worse. But thou hast kept the good wine, the good wine, until now. The good wine until last. We're gonna take our text out of that, or our subject out of that fifth verse, where Mary said to the servants, "Whatsoever my boy tells you to do." Just do it. Amen. Young be seated. We're going to talk from the subject this morning. Do what the Lord says. Do. Do what the Lord says. Do. You ought to turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm just going to do it. You didn't sound convincing. Turn to your other neighbor. Maybe you like him a little bit better. Yeah, way across the sanctuary. Tell them, neighbor, yeah. I'm just going to do it. I'm just gonna do now it. you sound like you believe it. Amen. I don't, I don't want to keep us long this morning, so let me start with which when your wine runs out. And, and, and depending on the source of the joy in your situation, your wine will run out. The story today has Jesus, his mother, and his disciples hanging out and enjoying a wedding in Cana. And, and, and the irony here that goes with last week is that Cana is in Galilee. See, that's the same place Jesus told his disciples he would meet them after his resurrection. So to put last week's statement in a picture frame, Jesus said, I'm dying, but after I rise again, I'll meet you where it all started. Y'all catch that? Y'all gonna be quiet today. I'm gonna be long, man. Amen. And, and, and so they were, they, were, they, were, they, were, they were at this wedding, Reverend Smith. They was at this wedding. They were at this reception. They were at this party. They, they was dancing, eating, and enjoying themselves when, when the social faux pas of all faux pas, when, 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 when the party killer of all party killers reared his head, and that is the wine ran out. Yeah, yeah. Now, now, don't get me wrong. I, I wasn't always a pastor. And so I can honestly say I've been at parties when the painted light bulb went out. I've been at parties when the cheese and crackers 
or, or those barbecue meatballs yeah. ran out. I've been at parties where the music died, the, the speakers blew it. We had to use a boom box or a ghetto blaster, but, but nobody, and I mean nobody stays when the liquor runs out. Huh? If you really want to get your guests to leave, you don't have to turn on the lights. Just hide the liquor. Amen. I'm just trying to keep it real. I, I, I know we want to believe everyone is there to celebrate us, to celebrate the bride and celebrate the groom for the good thing that he has found. And, 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 and I hate to be the one that has to break this to you. But some folks are only there for the free food and the free drinks. You, you don't have to believe me. You don't have to believe me. Next time you have a party, watch what happens when the food runs out. Yeah. You don't have to believe me. Watch what happens when the liquor runs out. You know, I've been at gatherings and and, and, and I didn't really even know what the gathering was. Y'all ever been at one of those kind of gatherings? Everybody trying to figure out what this really even is. It, it was too silly to be a funeral, but too serious to be a party. You wonder what the heck this even is. And, and I remember folks be passing out, regurgitating. I, I recall when not one female came to the party. But the guys stayed for the free drinks. But when the liquor ran out, you see, liquor is often the main attraction and the centerpiece of the party. The social lubricant that establishes the atmosphere, sets the ambiance, and puts the P in what we like to call party. And, 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 and that's what we're looking at this morning. What happens when the party, when the libations run out? Y'all follow me? They, they didn't say it was the cake or the napkins that ran out. It was the wine that ran out. Now this is important. This is important because seeing the role wine played at this wedding helps us relate this story to our situation. When the, when, 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 when the centerpiece or the attraction of your situation is suddenly gone. What happens when that young puppy love becomes the struggle of raising kids and having to pay rent? Amen. What happens when the relationship gets strained because the trust starts running out. What happens when a house is no longer a home because the family bond is running out? What happens when your check no longer covers your bill before the money starts running out? What happens when your kids start talking back because the respect has run out. What happens when life feels like a storm because your peace of mind has run out? What happens when we shake our fist at God because our faith has run out? What happens when happily ever after turns into a nightmare because the love has run out? We even, even in our walk with Christ, when it becomes a chore because the joy of our salvation has run out. I'm telling you, in life, your wine, your centipede, your libations, your wine will run out, Reverend John, Deacon Johnson. I'm about to call him Reverend now. We'll run out. One, one, one songwriter said, one songwriter said, I almost let go. Yeah. Felt like I just couldn't take life yeah. anymore. My problems had me bound yeah. and depression had me down. Yeah. But God held me close yeah. so I wouldn't let go. Y'all yeah. still quiet. You must not know about church song. Let me tell you what Earth, Wind, and Fire said. Earth, Wind, and Fire said something happened. Yeah along the way and what used to be happy was sad 
Y'all know the song, after the love is gone. Something happened along the way and yesterday was all we had. It, it, it used to be I could do no wrong, but now I can't do no right. I, I lost friends when I stopped drinking since the connection of our relationship is now gone. Yeah. So the first thing, first thing we see here is make sure you invite Jesus and make him the libation. Make him the centerpiece in every situation. You know, too often we don't think about Jesus until things go wrong. But put Jesus on the initial guest list. Yeah, yeah, there was a disastrous wedding in Cana when the libations, when the wine ran out, but at least they had the sense to invite Jesus to the wedding. You know, more and more we're starting to see weddings that begin with any and everything but Jesus. I know we love all of this mushy, mushy, mushy love songs and declaring our undying love for each other and all that. Some of them now went to one, they was playing some rap music when the bride came down and, and, and sounded to me like they was disrespecting women. But no matter any of that, don't forget to invite Jesus through his word. Don't forget to invite Jesus through a moment of prayer and tell him, Lord, keep us near your cross. Oh, I love my daughter and how she wanted to march in to all I do is think about you. Alice did a good job playing that all I do is think about you. But at some point, we ought to hear somebody say, oh, to be kept by Jesus. Kept by the power of God. You're going to see that doctor to have a procedure done? Invite Jesus. More important than dressing up for that interview? Invite Jesus. You going out on a first date? Try inviting Jesus through prayer and see won't he come along with you. Listen, if you start out with Jesus in the mix, I guarantee you he'll be there after the love is gone. He be there when the relationship gets strained because the trust is running out. He'll already be there when the music stops playing and your puppy dog eyes start turning and seeing reality. He'll be there when happily ever after turns into a horrific nightmare. He'll already be there because you had him there all the time. He, even if he's asleep, he can... Deacon Clayford down in the bow of the ship. Yeah. You good. Yeah. You good. Yeah. You good, y'all. Yeah. As long as Jesus yeah. is there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So they invited Jesus. Jesus was there and the party was taking a turn for the worse. Y'all yeah. been at those parties. You probably even had one. And you know, that's when the folks were about to make Excuses, Brother Don, for tiptoeing out because the booze ran out. Yeah, you, you've been there, Deacon Clayford. Y'all y'all know how polite we can be. You done packed you up at the gold plate, got a beer in each pocket, and, and then you come up and tell me, I think I left the oven on. I got to go. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> you know they say that mother Morris my babysitter just called <laughs> I got to go and, and so and so you can't get any better advice than the advice from a person's mother when she said whatsoever he saith unto you just do it yeah I know it might seem strange I know it might seem stupid and go against your reality but she says whatever my son says do just do it y'all with me so far 
after all these years raising her child, knowing her child, seeing her child, she's not telling you stuff she heard. She's telling you, she ain't telling you no gossip or no rumors that they were spreading somewhere else. She's telling you from firsthand experience. She's known about this child. She tells them whatever. I don't care how crazy it sounds. My son says do. Just do it. Yeah, now look at what Jesus told him to do. Jesus, Jesus looked over and saw six water pots used to ceremonially cleanse themselves when they came in off the dusty road. So it might have been dirty water in there by now. Who knows? But John says Jesus told them to fill those same ceremonial water pots with water. But then John noted, then John noticed that they filled them up to the brim. Yeah, stay with me, y'all. Stay with me. Some of y'all wasn't at Sunday school. I, you got to catch this is important. See, we, we, we got to stop being lazy and start doing exactly what Jesus says do. They didn't fill the pots half full and said that's enough. You hear nobody say, I'm tired of carrying all this water. Y'all know how we do it. You know how, how far that well is from here? And, and we don't even have it that bad because we got faucets you just turn on. But they had to go out there and get the water and bring the water back in. And, and then some of us had the nerve to say, I didn't want no more wine anyhow. <laughs> Y'all know it. But filling them to the brim means there was no room to add anything else to the pots. The pots were filled to the brim uh, with water. But see, we leave room in our pots. When, when, when you say, I'll love him, but I don't have to like him, you're leaving room in your pot for Satan. And trust me, he knows the game better than us. And like Deacon Brain used to say, if you let him ride, that joke will try to drive. Won't he do it? We got to stop leaving room in our hearts and minds for Satan. Carry out commands for Christ down to the most intimate detail. When he says believe in him, he, he means believe in him up to the brim and leave no room for any doubt. When he says, love thy neighbor as thyself, he's saying, love thy neighbor up to the brim. When he says, turn the other cheek and forgive them 70 times seven, he means forgive them up to the brim. Otherwise, we're leaving room for Satan to get in our mix. And I know he don't come in our mix. For our good. Often we don't get the miracles and the signs and wonders that we want. Because we don't. And, and we don't even get to taste God's best wine. Because we don't do what the Lord says do. In other words, God seems. It seems we want God's results. But we refuse to do things. God's way. But Mary said, whatever my boy says, do. Just do it. Come on, Alex. I feel like closing about now. Lastly, if you have the faith to do what he says, do. What you need will work out. Can I get a witness? Looking at the text, this morning when the wine ran out Jesus told them to fill the water pots to the brim with water and without any hocus pocus without any waving of his hand without any spiritual incantation he then challenged them to have the faith to draw out of those same pots 
Do I have a witness? He said, don't bring it to me to taste. Yes, but take it on over there to the governor who was expecting uh, more wine. Can I get a witness? And because they did what the Lord said do, what they gave the governor was some of the best wine. Do I have a witness? I wish we had just two or three members uh, with the faith to do what the Lord says do. I'll make four so that we can watch the changes the Lord will make here in his church. Yes, he will. Uh, and uh, if you don't believe uh, that Jesus made uh, that water blush, you'll get that on your way home. Uh, why, uh, the ruler of the feast uh, must have been uh, a wine connoisseur. Yes, uh, for he said, uh, normally folks uh, start out with the Zinvendale uh, and uh, the Grenache. Do I have a witness? Uh, because uh, a drunk man uh, won't notice uh, if you switched over <laughs> to Boone's Farm uh, or Muscatel. Uh, do I have a witness? Uh, yeah, they called on the host uh, and said, host, uh, you saved uh, the best for last. <laughs> Do I have a witness? Uh, a drunk man don't mind uh, if you serve him white port uh, and lemon juice. Uh, but you saved uh, the best for last. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I found out uh, a long time ago uh, if you start with Jesus, uh, your best, uh, your best uh, is yet to come. Uh, yeah. If you obey his word, uh, your best uh, is yet to come. Uh, yes. He didn't need no grapes. Uh, he didn't need no yeast. But he took what they had uh, and made the best of it uh, they ever had. Uh, yes. 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 Somebody uh, may have been down uh, way too long. Uh, uh, but your best uh, is yet to come. Uh, yes. Somebody's faith uh, is running out. Uh, yes, uh, but your best uh, is yet to come. Uh, somebody's hope is running out. Uh, but your best, your best, your best is yet to come. Yes. Do, uh, yes, yes, put it all in the pot, uh, yes, yes, put your struggles uh, in the pot, uh, yes, put your heartaches uh, in the pot, uh, yes, yes, put your sickness uh, in the pot, Watch the Lord work it out for good. Uh, yeah! 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 Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Won't he make a way out of nowhere here? Uh, won't he do it? Won't he brighten up uh, your darkest hours? Uh, yeah! Yeah! Won't he do it? 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 Won
Somebody say the best for last. Doors of the church are open. Somebody here this morning may still be holding on to disappointment, heartbreaks, but throw it in the pot. See, won't the Lord make it work out for good? Y'all do know when it's all over. The wine we'll have at the welcome table is gonna be the best wine. Not made from grapes, not made with yeast, but made from the blood of the Lamb. Doors of the church are open this morning. Glory, hallelujah, since I laid my laid my let me tell you about the best for last when it's all over I'm going home to when it's all over I'm going home to live with Jesus ain't that the best for last I'm going home to live with Jesus live with my Jesus since I laid my Oh, and every round seems to go a little higher, higher and higher, since I laid my, since I laid my, every round seems to go a little higher. Since I laid my, Anybody ever try climbing Jacob's ladder? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Jacob's ladder since I laid my. I don't care how I get there. If I got to climb the ladder, I'm on my way, Reverend Baker. I'm gonna make it up that ladder since I laid my burden. Shall we prepare for the communion? You can be seated. Burn us down. Since I laid my burdens down, burn down, Lord, burden down, Lord, since I laid my oh, burdens down, Lord, burdens down, since I laid my Yes. For giving up yourself. Yeah, this body. Just for us. 
Yes. Yes. Just for me, for my sins, cause I was still lost. He died. They took a spear and pierced him in his side. They pierced him in his side. For me, yeah, Jesus died, and I know it was, how about that th crown of thorns they put on his head, they crowned his head with thorns, they crowned his head with thorns, they crowned him his head with thorns for me yeah jesus died and i know it was the blood all that and he never said a mumbling word never said a mumbling word for me come on Alex let the organ talk let the organ talk
until he come again. Yeah. Then he took the bread and broke it. Yeah. And he prayed and said, this is my body which yes. is broken for you. Man, God. Yes. 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 <laughs> then he took the wine mm -hmm. and said and this was a shame for the remission of our sin yes. according to the new testament yeah. drink And without staying ahead. What a fellowship. What a joy divine. Because I'm leaning. Secure from all. Lord, I'm leaning. Lord, I'm leaning. Leaning on. Anybody know how sweet it is to walk? Oh, how sweet to walk in this pilgrim way. Cause I'm leaning. Right the path, because I'm leaning. Lord knows that I'm leaning. Y'all can be seated. I'm leaning from all. Lord knows that I'm leaning. Yes, I'm leaning, leaning on. Amen. Before we do this, let's not forget that uh, third Sunday of this month is going to be uh, social Black Social Club. How did he word that? Organizations, Black Social Organizations. <laughs> Yeah, what he said. Amen. I'm going to get you for that, Pastor. I need me a magnifying glass for these words. But I'm not thinking how a Clayford's going to do this. Is it heaven, by the, heaven <laughs> been led by the Spirit of God? I have received Jesus Christ as my Savior and Lord. I have been born again through the Holy Spirit and have publicly confessed my faith by word and in baptism. I subscribe to the article of faith of my church and do now in the presence of God in this assembly solemnly and joyfully enter into covenant with the members of Peaceful Rest Baptist Church. This is to certify that Tamara Rose Servine All right. has manifested credi credible evidence that they have been converted and have entered into covenant with Peaceful Red Baptist Church. And having completed the course of instruction for new members, is hereby awarded this certificate, commending her to rights of all Christian fellowship. Reverend Charles Servine, Pastor. Deacon Myrtle Brain, teacher. Amen. 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 You know, church, I don't know what you've been going through. I know personally I had a tough week. But I've got a feeling. Everything is going to be all right. Well, you 
know I everything you know everything you know everything won't it be all right won't it be all right anybody ever hear from the Holy Ghost look what he told me the Holy Ghost everything you know, Holy Ghost done told me. You know, Holy Ghost done told me everything's gonna be all right. Now may the grace of God, Father, Son, and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit. Rest rule and abide with each one of us henceforth now until we meet again. Let us all sing together. <laughs>